Mein Großvater, das weiß ich, ich habe ihn ja leider nicht kennengelernt. I never knew my grandfather, but I know from the stories of my father and mother that he was a very conscientious man. It was extraordinary that he studied mechanical engineering at university and he was very, very hard working, even working at the weekend. As a designer, it was naturally also important to him that Amazon machinery was of a high quality and technically advanced. He also thought that average was not good enough. Bei ihm war es auch schon so, dass Mittelmaß eigentlich nicht ausreichend war. Man hat ja vor 75 Jahren genau angefangen. We started 75 years ago and had ideas such as the Elite Seed Wheel. This was a unique seed wheel which could meter both normal cereal seeds or fine seeds. We then started, we built the first machines, we sold a few. This was only around a hundred machines to begin with, but that grew step by step. But the real success did not come until the fourth seed drill series, the D4, which was launched by Amazon in 1964. Kam dann auch erst mit der vierten Seemaschinenbaureihe, der D4, die dann ab 1964 bei Amazon gestartet ist. Die legendäre D4. The legendary D4 took us from a few hundred to a few thousand per year within a short period of time, and we became the seed drill market leader. We were already the market leader in fertilizer spreaders as a result of the twin disc fertilizer spreaders. And now we were also the seed drill market leader. What was striking about my father was how passionate he was about developing machines and how much attention he paid to detail. When you walked over the yard with him and he saw machines which had just come from production, he stood in front of them, inspected them, touched them and checked whether everything had been built as he had envisaged. And you really felt that building really, really good agricultural machines was a matter of personal importance to him. Our French representative, who distributed the fertilizer spreaders in France, came one day and said we should build a new seed drill, something completely new. Then he would sell this machine in France. Mr. Dessault, our partner in France, then discussed the details of the new machine with my cousin. So I sat down at my drawing board again and developed and built various seed drills and showed them to him until he said, yes, that's the one, let's do it. My cousin then had the idea of making the machine look like a horse's head in profile. And the funny thing about the story is that our German factory representatives took one look at this machine and said it was nothing for Germany. Then there was an exhibition in Paris, one of the well-known SEMA exhibitions. The new machine was on show there. A few German farmers, mainly from the Rhineland, were at the exhibition, saw the new machine, and then approached our factory representatives. Hey, we want one of those. You're still offering the old stuff. There's an absolutely fantastic machine from Amazon in Paris, and we want one. My, and I, we are my cousin and I joined the company because my uncle died suddenly at the age of 57. So we had to step into the breach at a young age, and it was my idea to push ahead with the production of plastics. Und das war meine Idee, die Kunststofffertigung anzuschieben. Das ist in unserem. That's the way it is in our company. When something works, it works. Of course, we've not only had success with seed drills in the 60s, we also soon started thinking about how we could link several processes. And then our designers in Huda, notably Dr. Sharman, came up with the idea of developing a PTO-driven soil tillage implement, for example, the reciprocating harrow, and combining it with a seed drill so that you could carry out soil tillage and sowing in a single pass. 
And that was the deciding factor in the birth of the combination, so to speak, which is still used extensively in many regions to this day. Of course, we saw the need to set up a local design department because a central design office has too little contact with the test engineers and the production. The department grew from then on. We started with five designers and this increased to 30 people over time. Today there are around 60 to my knowledge. Heute sind es meines Wissens irgendwo um die 60. Wir hatten damals in Frankreich einen sehr interessanten Markt, so um Paris rum, in der Grand Culture. We had a very interesting market in large-scale farming around Paris at the time. And if you visited these large family farms, they all had around 100, 200 hectares. You saw a rotavator seed drill combination in perfect harmony, plus, for normal conditions, a reciprocating harrow combination. So the task was obvious. We wanted to develop something which could do both, work without the plow and work after plowing and the rotary cultivator combination was developed for this purpose. We then looked for a way to build a machine which worked more aggressively, and this resulted in the on-grip tines. We constructed a special test track in this regard. The one-piece tine carrier, where the shaft and tool carrier are forged from a single piece, came into being. The tine spring fixing, which breaks up the shock loads, was also developed. Violent, intense shock loads are prevented by dissipating them. On the one hand, the task of the seed drill is to embed the seed as evenly and shallowly as possible, but distribution over the field also plays a key role. In the third problem, for example, in addition to placement depth and distribution, is reconsolidation under the seed. And then came the development with the wedge ring rollers, whereby a strip was highly compacted before the coulter arrived and the seed was then placed on this strip. This enabled the plants to look for the vegetation conditions which were best suited to the current weather conditions. This means that moisture is transported upwards towards the highly compacted strip in dry conditions through capillary action for germination. Whereas if it is very wet, there is too little oxygen in the highly compacted strips and the plant roots grow into any adjacent looser areas more easily. Of course, this also required different coulter systems. The good old Suffolk coulters could no longer be used. Then the disc coulters were developed. The priority was blockage-free operation in straw in the case of the Rotec coulter. This was achieved relatively quickly. And with the Rotec, we found a compromise by setting the disc relatively steeply so that a seed slot was created. Not a narrow groove, but a trough that was three to four centimeters wide. Eine Mulde ausgehoben wurde keine schmale Rille, sondern eine Mulde, die so drei, vier Zentimeter breit war. Kombinationsweltmeister werden wir auch genannt. We are also called the Combination World Champion because Amazon is known in many regions for combining a PTO-driven soil tillage implement with the matching sewing system. But then again, there are different types of machines. I was working for Amazon in France and we wanted to change the series from D8 to D9 and because production ran out of parts for the old discontinued D8 series, we delivered the new one without announcing it. This was a surprise of course, an unannounced market launch as it were, but it also worked. My father was always very interested in further developing Amazon and also in the internationalization of the company. As a result of this new direct seeding method, 
he saw an opportunity to gain a foothold in North America with his innovative technology. Und als ich dann in den 80er Jahren nach Kanada kam, da bin ich sofort auf dieses Verfahren gestoßen. And when I went to Canada in the 80s, I immediately came across this method. The aim was to avoid any soil tillage where there is little water or where wind and rain cause intense soil erosion. In simple terms, this means drilling in the stubble. But there was no machine that could do this. That meant a huge opportunity for us. I knew I could do it with my team. And we did it. With his knowledge of the North American market, my father then took the Primera to Eastern Europe and adapted the machine to Eastern European conditions, for example, by making the machine more universal, and was extremely successful with it. And the issues of climate, soil conditions and farm sizes naturally play an incredibly important role in this respect. We were also in a position to offer good ideas, good solutions in the most important arable farming regions of the world. These three methods, mulch sowing, direct seeding, sowing after the plow, all have their place. But there's no getting around pneumatic sowing technology if larger working widths are required. The smaller, less expensive machines all have conventional sowing technology. As far as seed distribution and all these things are concerned, the systems are equivalent. Huda has always been the central location for seeding systems, and we have gradually grown and expanded our site in Huda Altmorhausen from 2008, developing on additional land where we now have a state-of-the-art production facility. And I think it's fair to say that this is the most advanced production facility for seed drills in Europe. Die modernste Fertigung für Seetechnik in Europa. Modern coulters are much more productive than coulters from the 50s. Firstly, they are more precise. For example, you could only roughly set the depth via the coulter pressure in the 50s. And coulters have excellent depth control nowadays, meaning that they keep the depth constant under a variety of conditions. They can also be operated much faster. The forward speeds of seed drills are a great deal higher than in the past, and they can be used much more universally. Today, there are also coulters which can be used for everything from mulch sowing to direct seeding. We want to continue to automate to improve the precision of our machines. Naturally, we want to automate further to increase the precision of our machines and to improve efficiency for example, to achieve the same or even better results with less fertilizer and less seed. And this automation obviously includes software. What is important in this respect is that the software is designed in such a way that the machine remains easy to use even as the complexity of the machines increases. We have made it our mission to become a technological leader, but also to structure the software so that everyone has the possibility to take advantage of this progress. In other words, if the customer is used to operating an Amazon machine, they will also be able to operate any other Amazon machine to perfection at the first attempt. Thanks to intelligent and digital solutions, our current technology offers tremendous potential for modern and successful arable farming. And the great thing here is that our product range means that we can offer the right solution for every customer requirement. An example of this is in the precision. Section control with automatic part width section control enables us to work very accurately and above all, 
with comfort for the driver. We save seed in headlands or wedge-shaped fields, and the Cirrus even provides individual row shutoff. Furthermore, today's seating systems offer us an extremely high degree of flexibility because we can apply several products at the same time in just one pass thanks to several hoppers. This enables individually tailored and above all, flexible arable farming. As a result of our triple shoot process, for example, three media at three differing placement depths, each medium is placed precisely. We can distribute each medium in the field on a part area, site-specific basis, according to application maps by considering the local conditions. We can process up to four application maps at the same time with our Amatron 4 and the multi-map function. Needless to say, this ensures extremely demand-oriented use, conserves resources, and protects our environment. It goes without saying that the prospects for the future are the most interesting topic of all. At Amazon, we're convinced that we already largely cover the area of conventional sowing, and we wish to develop it further. But we will also focus on the area of precision sowing in future, and there we see incredible opportunities and possibilities to increase our market shares and penetration in more remote markets. So from this point of view, it is also a huge advantage for us as a medium-sized manufacturer that we have a great deal of space and potential to grow and develop even further in the future. Seemaschinen werden zukünftig durch autonome Fahrzeuge gezogen werden. Seed drills will be drawn by autonomous vehicles in the future, and the seed drill tasks in the field will therefore have to be automated and monitored. Errors will also have to be analyzed and corrected independently. Furthermore, we will have to deal with the complete planning environment. Where do we put the tram lines? In which direction do we travel? How do we organize the logistics automatically? There are a great many questions, but we will have an answer to them all.